a good in. What's up everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. We're down here in South Louisiana in St. Bernard Parish. We're around Shell Beach right now. I've got Bradley Smith, God's Country, hunting and fishing. We got the invite from outside the levees with Jared Serenade to come down here and do a collaboration with him. We ain't real sure what we're about to get into, but right now we're on a roadside ditch. Look, there's a public road right there. We're about to try to get on some blue crabs real quick. We got some buffalo fish remains and some chicken legs that uh, a fellow fisherman happened to give us <laughs> appreciate the chicken because we didn't buy any passing grocery stores 120 miles back that way so y'all make sure you go check out god's country hunting and fishing make sure you subscribe to his channel hey go to his last video and comment on it and say red line sent me here also i want you to check out outside the levees jared serenade subscribe subscribe to his channel but hey we gotta hurry up and try to catch some supper let's go let's go get them all right all right y'all we are about to put out some crab nets real quick see if we can catch some crab we need to check a spot sorry for the wind noise it is very windy out here today In for bait, son. Uh oh. Look at there, son. Get that sucker in here. That's a keeper. Keeper. Yeah. Hey, you good? I'll keep this line tight. Get him, boy. Oh, buffalo got him. Buffalo fish. All right. right. Pretty nice blue crab. Yeah, that's a nice one. So oh, we were catching the crabs two different ways. Dude, we, we were catching them in the crab nets, as you can see. And also, all you had to do to catch them off the bank is get you a string and uh, a piece of meat we were using I mean, chicken right? legs and yeah, just slowly pull that string in there and have you a dip net and scoop them up from the yeah. back super simple way to catch crab off the bank he's hanging on to it you ready that's a good one <laughs> oh he ain't as good as i thought Great. he'll work Hey, hey, hey! Got a little one. Ain't bad. It ain't terrible. Times are tough down here, boy. Hey, you gotta get what you can get. Yeah. Go starving rednecks down here in Cajun country. I know. There's one on it. Get off of there. Get off of there, boy. Big one. Good one. A good one. Woohoo! All right. <clears throat> Little ones. Babies. Tiny. Hey, at least they're eating it. Yeah. Right? Yep. Hey, you got five crabs. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. Oh, Buffalo got him. Yep. Get your Beggars can't be choosers. Huh? No, sir. All right. 
Got one? Got one. All right. Right there in between them culverts. Got you. All right, keeper, 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 keeper crab. Keep crab. All right, the chicken legs coming through. Chicken legs definitely beating the buffalo right now. That's what they want. Look here. Ah. Yes, sir. Got him. Got him. Let him bite you. No. <laughs> I'm nobody. <laughs> Been there done that. <laughs> Waiting for an earring. Yeah. Ooh. Listen to that. Yep. Here. He's mad. All right, let's go put our boots on. We don't even have our boots on yet. Let's go get some water boots on. Let's check them again. What do you think? He's got more meat on him than a crawfish. Redneck ain't anything. Oh, you saved me. Gumbo crabs, that's what them is. Gumbo crabs. They ain't big but they gumbo crabs. Yep. All right, then. Or stuffed crabs. Or stuffed crabs. I like stuffed crabs. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, he was a giant. There's another one on him. Get him, get him, get him. That one that got off. We need one of the chicken legs over here. Yeah, this is what we need to be. Two of them in there. Hey, hey you get away from me. Gumbo crabs. You get away from me with that. <laughs> I've been needing some gumbo crabs. All right. Today. Well, we drove a long way not to catch something. Yeah. Sometimes, hey, if they're big as a butter bean, you can eat them. Well, I mean, I, I told you earlier, these things got more meat than a crawfish. <laughs> you agree? I agree. There's a, there's a keeper. Got him. Oh, come here, boy. Don't you bite me. Got him. Gumbo crab. Y'all, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Anybody can do this. I'm not a crabber at all. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at that pretty sunset. We're out here catching crabs. I know that my kids would love to do this. I would like to bring them down here one day to catch some crabs. Pretty simple. Lots of wildlife to see. It's a beautiful day. We caught several crabs. Just having a good time. He was a good one, huh? There's one on this one, I think. Yeah, it is. Get ready. Good one, too. 
Oh, he's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, he about gnawed the whole leg off. Booner. That's a pretty crab. Yeah, that's a pretty one there. That's one of the best ones we've caught. Gumbo. Look at that sunset. And crabs. Sunset and crabs. Check those. All right, y'all, I want to give a quick shout out to these folks right here. These fine folks that let us stay here at their place. This is, if you come down here, this is an option for you guys to come down here and stay at this place. It is super nice. I want to show y'all the inside real quick. There is a public ramp right just down there. Lake Bourne, Bond, however you say it, is just right there. Look at that sink. There's some crabs we caught yesterday. Ice machine, refrigerator, place to eat your catch, your crawfish. Spot right here to eat again, picnic table. Little balcony right here overlooking the canal. All right, y'all, let's go inside real quick. Told y'all it was nice. Fully furnished, refrigerator, plates, knives, forks, everything. Place to sit, coffee pot. Super nice. Couches, TV. Here's a bedroom. Two beds right there. Here's the bathroom. Y'all just look at that shower head. I mean, bathroom. They even left you some chips. <laughs> Bunk beds with a TV and a fan. <laughs> Here's your bathroom. Another fancy shower head. Another bunk bed. If y'all interested in staying here, like I said, here's their business card. Take a screenshot right now if you don't want to look in the description box. Awesome place to stay. There's your crawfish cooker. One of them loco crawfish cookers. You got a grill. You got everything you need right here. There's a Water hose, place to park your boat, pull your boat in here, whatever you want to do. All right, y'all, here we are at the roadside ditch. We're about to meet with Jerry Serenade with outside the levees. So let's uh, put a couple strings out with uh, chicken legs on them. Let's see what we can get into. Uh, we got to go home today, this afternoon. So let's go fishing, see if we can catch something. Yeah, I wasn't even rolling, but I just caught a speck right here at this ditch on the side of the road. So we wanted to make a few casts right here on the side of the road before we ever got started putting out our crab traps and crab lines. And we were actually able to get on them pretty decent, as you can see in the footage oh, come. Specs on. Yes, sir. I don't think he's gonna go 13 inches. Uh -uh. I mean a big one. I mean a big one. Oh, that's a nice one there. I mean. I get my phone. Oh. Stripping dream. Oh. Oh. He's rolling. Oh. Limb shaker. Y'all check out these specs. That is a pretty sucker right there. <laughs> yes, Ain't sir. Ain't no need measuring that one. Just put him in the ice chest. I know it. Hold him up. Get a little shot. Let that breathe. I know. Hold him up where I see you facing. That guy's looking at us. We get him buy some slot limit baits. Look here. Show you what them slot limit baits do. More crappie jigs. 
Y'all check it out. I can't get his mouth open. Look at there. Slot limit baits. The two inch grub. Got him. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that's going to be good. That's a nice one, bro. Yeah, that's a that's nice one. He was in that current, wasn't he? Yeah. Same thing. Hey, there's some bait, cut bait. Yep. Skipjack. You want to keep him? It won't hurt. Sure is. Put him over there in the box. And I, I can feel him moving with it. And then you said it. Yeah, video this. That might be I got a you. Decent one I think he's a keeper. Oh, it's a flounder. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Got you a flounder. That's awesome, dude. Look at there. Awesome. That's there. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. On the live shrimp. What's the ink limit on that? I'm not sure. We're gonna have to look it up. Flounder. Get him, boy. This current's Pulling out of this ditch right now, and these fish are stacked up right there. Play him easy, play him easy. Play him easy. I can't, he's swimming to me. I got you, go ahead. Got him hooked up. Got another one. I respect. He may be under, huh? Yeah, he's under. Quick release, quick safe release on that one. Y'all were catching these specks on crappie jigs. This is slot limit baits. He's a bait maker from back home in West Monroe, Louisiana. That guy, that guy just gave us some shrimp and Bradley just caught one on it with the jig head. He's on the bottom. I think it's gonna be undersized. Yeah. Trout. Yeah. Mmm. Ah. Hey. Dad gummy. Hey, got the net right there. I need to see what the length limit is on flying. Flounder. Flounder? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Get him up there. <laughs> Get that sucker up there. <laughs> Same deal. He just picked it up and felt him moving with yeah, it. Yeah, I let him have it that time. Yes, sir. Be still. That's my... Well, I think I caught a flounder before. These, yeah, these things got... Normally, it's like one or two. <laughs> Look at that. You filming? Oh, beautiful fish. <laughs> right here on the side of the road. Don't get no better than this. Maybe totally out past it out there. Down in yonder, probably. I think I'm supposed to put one down there and just see. That's a that's a good one. Yeah. That's a big one. Oh. That's what I'm missing. That's what I'm catching. Yeah. That's what's taking my bait. Pretty nice, man. What, what were you saying? What? I didn't get that one on video. All right, y'all. The fish have slowed down. My man, Jared Serenade, with outside the levees. This is his stomping grounds down here. What y'all got y'all sales into? 
Well, we went outside the levees and uh, uh, we done got us a. Yeah. <laughs> Jared down there catching them dinosaurs. Y'all go to his channel, please, and subscribe to him. But we did pretty well on the fish, so now we're about to swap to crabs, see if we can catch a few crabs. Let's do it. Number one. That number one. That number one. Oh. That'll keep, bro. That'll I keep, though. But look. I mean, it ain't the world's biggest, but it's a crab. It's seafood. Yes, right. We like to eat. That's all right, y'all. So for these hand lines, all we're doing is we've got a chicken leg tied to a string, tied to a stick. And just like you see that one there, you just throw it out there, pull it in nice and slow, and then dip your crabs up with the net. All right. There's some little ones, but I mean, it's a couple keepers in the bunch. Check some of these nets. See if they got anything. There's two in that one. They're kind of small, but Bradley's wanting some gumbo crabs. Here we go. Just like that. Dip them up with your net. Put the, that's yep. what they feeding on right glass there. Minnow. Ooh, I'm gonna go put his little butt on. Little one. See, this line's moving, y'all. They got some on that one. We might need to set some more down this stretch. All right, next line, next line. See. Ooh, he tried to get away. Little baby. Yeah. They're not quite but y'all caught bigger ones yesterday afternoon, huh? Caught a few big ones on that other. Yeah. Well, I mean there were some big ones and then he caught a big one on the rod and reel this morning. That was a real nice one. Right. Another little bigger bitty baby. Little, <laughs> that one? Huh? All right, let's see what we got. This is like some of these are, you know, not bad. Get a little bit slower with this, and this is a good crab. Yeah. He ain't bad. Oh, you want to go down? Got another nice one. All right, y'all. You can see it. Roadside ditch right here on the side of the road. We about done fished this spot out right here. We did well, so. We got a cooler full of fish and some crabs. Y'all meet us in the kitchen. Let's go cook them up. All right, Jared. I appreciate it once again for letting us come down and fish with you. I had a great time. It's always good hanging out with the country boys. If y'all get a chance, come over to my channel outside yep. the levees. We would love to have you. We do hunting, we do fishing, we do cooking. And if you just enjoy being outdoors, you enjoy being a faithful person, being a good person, 
we would love to have you. So thank you all so much for coming and thank you all so much for being a part of it. Absolutely. All right, y'all, the fun is over catching these fish and crabs. I got my little helper with me. We're about to clean up these trout and we're gonna have them for supper. And also we're gonna have some gulf shrimp. So let's get to cleaning these and cooking them. Mm -hmm. Those in there. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it. We fishing ain't good, y'all. All right, y'all. Y'all gonna have to forgive the mess in the kitchen. We're a normal family just like y'all, and I'm dirty because I've been mowing grass all day long. So my little cooking partner right here is gonna help me. But uh, we're fishing to cook these fish uh, unconventional way. Um, I didn't, I got to give credit where credit is due. I've seen this on other people's YouTube channels. Uh, they cooked it like this and Bradley Smith, God's Country, Hunting and Fishing was one of them. So I think I've done this a while back, but I can't remember. But y'all stick with me all the way to the taste test and uh, we'll let you know what we think. All right, so what, we're gonna, what we have here is sour cream. Here's our trout, sour cream. What I did, I got these fish filleted and we're gonna put the fish in the sour cream, okay? And then we're gonna batter them with all purpose flour. I'm gonna season this flour with some Cajun seasonings, uh, some garlic, um, a little bit of salt and black pepper. And this is what we're gonna coat the fish with for the batter to fry them. A little salt, black pepper. Cajun seasoning. All right, Tenley, go ahead and get a couple of those fillet, the pieces of fish and put it in that sour cream. Okay, that's good. Now put your hands in there and mix them up. Yeah. There you go. Get a nice coat of sour cream on there. <laughs> All right, Tinlin, go ahead and put those fish into our little doodad there. There you go. Now we're gonna put the lid on and shake them up. Flowers down here and there's another lid that goes on top and you, you turn it upside down, shake it up and they'll be battered. All right, y'all, here we go. We're gonna put them in the hot grease We'll be tasting them next. Here we go. That's gonna be, that's gonna be good. All right, y'all, we've got a few pieces ready. So me and Tinley are about to do a taste test on these trout, sour cream fried trout. You ready? Yeah. Y'all look at how that sour cream held that flour on there. And we got a nice crispy batter. That's a, that looks delicious. Daddy, what did you eat? Oh, let's go out. All right, y'all, it's time to eat. Hold on, you gotta wait for me. Let's say a blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, for this food. Please bless it to the nurse of our bodies. Amen. All right, I'm gonna get this piece. Who's going first? So we're going at the same time. All right, here we go. Man. Yummy. It's been a long time since I had trout. That's really good. You like it? Oh, it's breaking. I know trouts are real brittle fish. You can't just, it's not like catfish or white perch. I like with ketchup. Okay, I'll get you some I like everything with ketchup. Was it worth it? Thanks for the help, my little cook. All right, y'all, we're about to finish cooking these shrimp frying the rest of these fish and we're about to have us a Louisiana night feast. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really appreciate y'all tuning in today. Jared, appreciate y'all having us down again. Hey, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit that like button, the notification bell. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like this type, these types of videos and we'll, we might go back down there again. So, hey, we're about to eat some shrimp some fried trout. Hey, y'all get outside. Y'all take your families out hunting and fishing. 
getting the great outdoors. God bless, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.